Hello there, um, in this video I'm going to show you how you can get rid of unwanted partitions because sometimes um, I myself, uh, whenever I copy the OS using Minitool um, software, it ends up leaving an extra um, partition that I don't want and although these partitions are harmless, I just don't want my file explorer to be cluttered for example if you look at this one there is the main hard drive space which is 199 gigs free and then there is this one free as is useless you cannot access it you cannot get rid of it normally by deleting it i would not recommend deleting it even if you can because it might be you know some system files that probably you won't be able to boot up again so there are ways you can actually hide it permanently so first thing you need to do is establish which disk this is on if you have just one ssd in your machine then this is easy it's going to be disk zero but if there is more than one ssd that becomes uh, you have to figure out which which disk this particular partition belongs to so to do that you type disk and you should have create and format hard disk partitions so it shows all it lists all the ssds or the hard drives you have in your machine so over here it says under disk zero there is a 661 megabytes of worth of a partition in here i see 658 so sometimes there are slightly different um, sizes but very close so you know i know that this particular partition belongs to disk zero so if there was another disk it would be disk one so you have to figure out which disk it belongs to now that we established it belongs to um, disk zero we're just going to take a note of it we are also going to take a note of disk letter here it's important so let's just take a note of both and we're going to move on to the main part so type in disk part D I S K P A R T so excuse me and then there is going to be an application called disk part and then press enter yes and then now we're going to use some command prompt so the first thing we're going to do remember we established that partition was in disk zero so i'm going to select the disk zero so i'm going to type in sorry i'm, I'm, I'm slow typing when uh, I, I type from weird angles so select disk zero it did not work it done something wrong so let's type again Again, apologies from weird angles, I cannot type properly. Okay, so it says disk zero is now selected disk. And now we're going to move on to the next step and then say list. List partitions. It didn't work. I need to take the typing lessons anyway so we asked the machine to list the partitions so there is partition one partition two and partition three now if you look at the size this one is 661 megabyte and remember earlier on when we saw the little partition that it was 658 so it's the same one so we're going to ask the machine to select that particular partition which is partition one so s e l e c select partition one partition one is now the selected partition now what we're going to do is ask the machine to remove okay so this part successfully removed the drive letter so now you can see it's removed but we are not done this will come back if we don't do the next step so we're going to go to registry editor so type in reg and then registry editor will come 
and then you open it now you go to H key local machine and then you go to system and then you go to mount to devices now remember earlier on we took a note that the partition was for letter E so you're going to right click delete yes and then now it's going to be permanently deleted now your file explorer is clutter free thank you for watching